I hope you're all well. I know at the moment it's tricky to come to showrooms due to the government guidelines, so we thought we'd do a video tour of our showroom to show you what we can offer, um, give you kind of a virtual tour, give any inspiration and show you what our showroom looks like. So I'm going to start with our high security external door. This is what we have on display, it's a high gloss real door, but it can come in all different finishes and designs, um, anything that you see we can often make because they're all made to order. So um, there's three options for your entry. You can have just a key, um, you can have a fob which you control with your phone or you can have a fingerprint scanner. The door is obviously very secure, it's made with reinforced steel and a metal frame. It has great kind of thermal ratings, um, DB ratings, and it weighs about 100 kg. But regardless of if you're really obviously nervous about security, it's still a very long lasting, durable door. It doesn't tend to warp or bow like a solid timber door does. So I'm gonna just show you the fingerprint access. If you follow me through, I'm going to just show you the thickness of the door is about 75 mil thick. It has 10 bolts in total, four on this side, four on the hinge side, one at the top and one at the bottom. So it's very secure. And now I'm going to run you through the internal doors in our showroom. So to start with, we have the lovely lattice doors. Uh, this is the lattice deco, which is one of the most popular designs but we can tweak and modify the designs as you wish. Uh, a lot of people like to match their stairs to um, the lattice doors and it is a beautiful feature going into the rooms, off the hallways or creating dividing um, doors between rooms. We then have our uh, 150 ALU uh, inlay doors. This is our black stain on oak with uh, about a 15% sheen. It has a polished inlay in it, but the inlay can come in loads of different finishes. So it can be brass, an antique brass finish, a dark bronze, like a champagne color. So lots of different nice finishes to match your metal work in the house. Coming through here, we have some more inlay and high gloss doors. Uh, this is our R108 ALP with three stepped beading in black high gloss with a polished metal inlay. Uh, we have matching frames and architrave all in high gloss. Uh, it's a beautiful kind of mirror finish. It gives that real good wow factor. And here we have the beading matching the skirt and the architrave, which is lovely. Now we have um, the 155 ALU, which is a dual, this we've created it with a dual finish. So we've got ash grey with a light man-made veneer. This has got polished chrome inlays. And again, it has the matching frame and architrave in high gloss. The beauty of having matching frame and architrave to a door is it also creates a more kind of grand fill in the sense that the door feels taller and wider. Just going to take you to this door here which is another example of a matching door and frame and architrave this is a kind of a dark gray stain on oak so with oak you really get to see the grain in the finish because um, we open pour and then we add the stain this again has three step beading and three step matching architrave with one of our bespoke handles in an antique brass finish Now go through here, just another example of a high gloss door. All the details machined into the door. Uh, this door is about 2.6, 2.7, so a very tall door. Here we have our R137 with molded chunky beading, which we call PCA. This door is 2.4 and it's a dark brown stain on walnut with about a 20% sheen level to it. So it's a very nice, smooth, luxurious finish. Here we 
have uh, the R109, which is a four panel door with raised and filled panels, three step beading. And this is an inox, so a gray stain on oak and a complete matte finish. We then here have uh, the R133 with PCR beading and an inner decorative beading. This is a primed finish, which has just been painted on site. And this is a walnut panel that we've created. It's got raisin filled panel, PPA one step beading, and it is a beautiful natural walnut finish with a varnish that has a slight sheen just to protect the wood. Um, and it's a lovely kind of rich walnut feel. This is a very tall door. It's 2.7. It's our R109, again with three steps feeding and three steps matching architrave. It's our inox grey stain, but on walnut. So the, the grain is not as open pore. You get a smoother finish with it, and, but while still kind of seeing the beautiful grain within. And it's a, done again in a matte finish. So comparing the matte and the sheen, that's how they look compared to one another. This here is from our Lacada range. This is called the R137 deck. These doors can only be finished in either primed or a lacquer, so a RAW or NCS colour. The detail is a very clean, minimalistic look. Um, and the detail you can see is machined into the panel. This door is kind of a great way of achieving Kind of a mix of traditional and contemporary because you're still getting that panelled look but it's done in a really minimal way through here so this is a door model with the two inlays running down and we have the grain going horizontal in the middle and vertical down the sides this is a man-made veneer called ash gray and it has a lot of kind of different topes and different gray tones within it like to zoom in you can see kind of the, the lovely kind of grain colors within this is an example of a sliding door which has a touch latch so if I push it and then it catches onto the latch and then this door also has you push it to close it and then it has a soft close Within a sliding door, you want to keep the door like, minimal so there's no beading sticking out of it. So you can either have a flush door, one with grooves, or when you have kind of moulded beading like PCA kind of in the rest of the house, then we suggest um, this PRB beading, which is moulded, but it's recessed into the door. So when you fill the door, all of it's in line and nothing sticking out, which is important for a sliding door because with a fire rated one, the max capacity is 45 mil within the cage. And if anything's sticking out of the door, then it often can hit the pocket and rub against it. Here we have um, our bifold doors. They're the R101 model with PRB beading um, in a beautiful kind of off-white color. through here we have our acoustic door set with leather panels so this is um, and it's done in a kind of a deep brown oak stain color on the other side we have ostrich leather um, and this stain was done to match a client's flooring. So with our stains, there's no set stain collection. We obviously have a range that's in a showroom, but if there's any kind of finishes you like that you've seen and you want to match or contrast against your floor, then we can create samples for you to approve. Uh, this door is an acoustic door, so it's got, it's rebated with an acoustic sill and the frames as well is double re rebated with two acoustic sills running in the frame and this door also will have a drop down sill on the bottom of the door the db rating is about um, 43 db 
Moving on here is um, a door that has a kind of a jewel finish to it. It's got a lacquer, a satin lacquer finish and a high gloss strip, all in a matching grey row colour. Here we have an art deco kind of fill to a door design. It's a white lacquer with beading which has been planted on to create this style which looks nice when you sit a hand on a back plate within this design. Here we have the N312 in black high gloss with PCA beading and a white surround. Here we have kind of a huge rack of doors, um, which is kind of done in different finishes and different designs. This is um, our Royale deck door, which has been done in high gloss. This was for a project based in South of France and it's um, got white on the other side, just to give you an idea of how the black and the white can look. Now moving on to our bespoke ironmongery range, um, which if anyone's interested, we can send you the link to. It's um, a range that we created, which all the handles are made of solid brass. They weigh about one kg each, and they kind of tend to be bigger than the standard handle because we know a lot of our clients have kind of taller doors um, and prefer that kind of chunkier, heavier feel. So these handles are extremely heavy, extremely good quality, and they can come in a variety of finishes. Um, we, when we supply door sets, supply the hinges, and we've got kind of various finishes available in these. And what we tend to like to do is match the handles to the hinges and the strike plates. This is an example of a glazed door. This is actually model 1004 with four glazed panels. All our glazed doors can come as non-fire rated FD30 or FD60. Um, and I'll take you through here. This is um, our hidden door. <laughs> uh, it's done on a pivot. And when the door is opening away from you, like this one is, it can be completely hidden because you don't need to have a handle on this side and you can plant on any kind of fabric or padding or velvet for a cinema room. Oh, we've done leather padded panels here. Another example of a hidden concealed door, but this opens towards you, so you need to have a handle on it. And also you can kind of see the outline of the door more when the door opens towards you. Here is um, the R108 ALP with PCA chunky moulded beading and polished metal inlays in a white high gloss finish. Thanks so much for touring with us and if you have any questions or would like a quote on any of our doors, please don't hesitate to get in touch. I hope everyone stays safe and healthy. Thanks.